Hello everybody, I am Nate, this is Nader Games. Today we're going to play Afraid, another game jolt indie horror game. I think it's a horror game anyways. Um, it's more of a pixelated, top-downer, uh, style of ish game. Uh, as, as per usual for me, I didn't look too much into it. And like I explained in one of my last videos, I, I much prefer to not know what I'm getting into. It makes the game much more enjoyable for me. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still getting over that cold. It makes the game much more enjoyable for me. Uh, you know, keeps the element of surprise. Jump scares are more scary. Atmosphere is but... I'll put an epilepsy warning at the beginning of this video. What is this? I don't have epilepsy and it's hurting my head. Hey, is anybody here? What the hell is happening? I'm glad you are here, son. You've been expected. What are you talking about? You're here for the reason, son. Are you prepared for your journey? I... I... What kind of journey? Your old self has to go. You need to let it go in order to become what you really are. Remember, you are living here now. And now... Alright, this is going on too long. Hey! What should I do now? Oh! I feel like somebody just let my head go. Oh! Alright. Anyways, it's a top downer. Welcome into the dark. Wazed or arrows to move. You can see the flare in front of you. Take it. It gives you light. In the dark, light is the only thing that keeps you alive, but everything has its own time, and each flare gives you light for 30 seconds. Within this 30 seconds, you have to find either another flare or the exit. If you fail, the dark gets you, and you'll have to start the level again. Keep that in mind, and watch the remaining time at the top of the screen. Cool! Alright. Oh, there is a key nearby. Each key has a certain color, red, green, or blue, telling you which gate you can open. Uh, red key opens the red gate. Green, okay, yeah, blue. And now take the green key and open the gate. Okay. Another flare. Can you see the explosive near you? Each explosive has two parts, the explosive itself and the detonator. Sometimes the way is blocked with the stones, so in order to get rid of it, you have to push the explosive next to the stone, get back to the detonator, and blow it up. You can push the detonator trigger with space or left mouse. Now you know what to do. Have fun. That's the detonator. Ah, oh, shit. So. And I can't grab. Oh! <laughs> Alright. Oh, I gotta go through this again. Alright. This is cool. So. Yeah, I, I like this. Alright, so, don't screw up this time. Nice. Okay. Yep. So now you know the basic things work in the dark, and that's all, basically. If you want to pass the next room, you have to combine what you've learned in this tutorial. Blow up the stones to get the key, which will lead you out of this level. After you do it, you are ready to start the real game. If you want to be successful, you'll have to combine your exploration skills with precisely ordered actions of the gate openings and stone destructions. Okay, so, okay, the blue key is behind, ah, oh, come on, Oh man, so, I wonder if there's any way to, like, restart, oh, there needs to be a way to grab, because, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. I mean, that's my fault. I need to be, I need to be more careful. But all the same. Mm. No, come on. Oh my god. Restart. I wish it didn't make me go through this tutorial each time. <coughs> Once is enough. I mean, I could stop sucking, too. That might work. 
Maybe if this kid's hair wasn't so big. Um, alright. So, yep, yeah, alright, there we go. Got that over here. Was that up here? No, that's the blue. It's right there, okay. So, push this up here. I've only got 17 seconds. Uh, push it over there. Where's the detonator? Oh, 12 seconds. Pull up the thing! Oh, eight. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <Woo>. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now the real game. So, okay, there's that. So what do I need to blow up? Right there? Okay. So we'll move this up here. This is tense because you got to, you don't know what's coming. So you got to, you got to be quick. And there's my blue key. What's up here? I don't know what's up there yet. There's my blue. There's red. Okay. So, there's blue. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, ah! Alright, so... Don't go for... That blue key, or the... So there's two... There's another blue key somewhere then, right? Okay, get that blue key. I, oh, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I wanted that one, because I don't, yeah, so, that's bad. Okay, so I want to go for the blue gate up in the top left. Uh, here, nope, nope, not out, nope, nope, not there. Oh, is that too high? Ah, that's good, okay. Go up. Blue key in top left. Up here, yep, okay. And... Well, so I gotta go up and around. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Ah! Oh, so I can already tell I'm not gonna be good at this game, but it's kind of awesome. Okay, blue key up here, up and around. I keep getting stuck on the wall. Or I should definitely not be getting stuck. Alright, come up here. Blow it up. Blow it. Up. Do the thing. Do the thing, kid. Okay, got that. And there are no checkpoints. I wish there were some sort of checkpoints for this, especially with how long these levels seem to be. Uh, checkpoints would be good. Alright, green key. Come down here. Open the green door. Blue key. Oh, crap. And run up here. Run, 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 run. Up, blue, blue, blue. Blue light, light blue. Ah! All right, phew. All right, so where does that need to go? That needs to go... I did not... Okay, down there. Oh, see, that's not right. That's just starting like that. Oh, see, that screws the entire level now. Yeah, I don't like that. And there's no way to get it out of the corner. So I have to start from the... Oh, I'm not starting from the very beginning. Okay, well, that's afraid. I mean, that's a really good idea. That's a, that's a really good idea. Um, it needs a little bit of fixing. Uh, I don't mind the time limit. The time limit adds the, uh, the stress and the uh, anxiousness. I don't mind the dynamite uh, function that, uh, you know, part of, part of the game... The key thing is great. You need to have a way to pull the dynamite away from the wall. Um, because like with that dynamite right there, and unless I bumped it, but I don't think I did, it was already there where I couldn't get on the other side of it to push it down to the bricks. Um, so that would be my only only real complaint is they need to fix the dynamite so that you can, you can pull it or push it. You know, if you get stuck in the corner, pull it away. Um, but other than that, awesome kind of game. I, I think this is pretty cool. And I recommend, you know, see how far you can get. I might play this on my own a little bit. Uh, so that's Afraid. If you liked it, give me a like. If not, definitely let me know why. And if you want to see more games like this, definitely give me a subscribe. But for now, I am Nate. This is Nader Games. I will see you in the future.